have another holiday. We're going to run you through pack down procedure now. This will be the last in our series of videos. Um, we really appreciate it if people roll the pack down in this order. What it helps with is making sure nothing's left out. So first thing we want to do is go and check that our hot water is off and that the fridge is now turned off. So we'll head around this side here. I always just leave the lighter out as a reminder that I need to do this. Come around, place the lighter back under the pilot, check that it's off. I've already turned this one off. Remember just turning the blue knob and then shut the hot water enclosure. Same with the fridge. Come around, check the fridge enclosure, check that it's too off and we're good to go. Okay, now we're into the main pack down part. First thing we want to do is take the Velcro off the slide out. This is nice and easy. Remembering you've got those poles wrapped up. You can take it off the entire way around the caravan. Where's the baby? Where's Max? Continue working your way around the caravan. Sorry, we lose the baby occasionally, we just can't work out where he is. Taking each of the belt throws off. Excellent. Now we'll pop inside. We've got our auxiliary lights up at the moment. So we turn those off, unplug from the unit, pop down, and just into the shower enclosure if it's dry, it's fine. Same with the other one, off, down. Right. We then go around the van and we zip up all of the windows. This is really just because it's easier should you arrive in the rain next time. It's nice and waterproof off the bat. Just hit around, pull back up again. I'll flip off the main lights now. And I'm going to work on the slide out first. Always needs to come in first before the other part. Take your two pillows away. Drop your back boards down. Roll the table onto the left hand pillow. Shut the legs of the table into the Velcro. Perfect. Slide the table onto its two runners. Back into position. Lay the two centre pillows back down. Now we're going to release the slide out. Pulling it back in. Nice and easy. Drop that down. This pole is stored on the top here. Have a quick look around. Make sure you've got nothing that's obstructing your pack down. Um, so we want to have it relatively clear. Anything above this sort of height can't remain there. So our next step is the sink. We grab the sink and we pull it over, making sure it's empty because if you obviously have water in it, that's just gone all over the floor. Now we're going to disconnect the gas cooker, gas to off, which is down, push back on the detent and pull the cord out. We then store it under the table. It's just a really good place for it, out of the way. And um, you know, it's not gonna get hit as the roof comes down. Right, we grab the sofa from the base, lie it down flat. Now we are going to pull out the two poles here. And I store these on top of the beds, or if they're not on top, they'll just be under the mattress. They are fine just there though, wherever you're comfortable with that. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to pull the slide out back in. So here we go. 
simply grab the slide out, pull it back in. And the most important thing with the pop-up, if you feel any resistance, don't keep pulling on something. Check if you've missed a bit of Velcro. So in this case, the Velcro is still attached to the outside of the slide out. I felt that then, so we'll go and unattach that. So have a quick look at that. So the moment I started pulling that in, I can feel that Velcro grabbing. So I just want to disconnect that from there to allow the slide out to run in easily, both sides. And then I can now work from the outside and push the slide out in. Make sure we're locking all the hatches that we haven't left any of those open. Checking all the different areas. So it's time to put the door back in its storage position. I'm just going to undo the Velcro as my first step. Take the Velcro off both sides of the door frame. Are you going to help with this stage, Max? Come on, bud. Okay, now we want to come inside. I'm just going to stay in here and do this quickly. I'm going to unlatch the latches here and here, and then I'm going to lift the door up onto its rails undoing these two clips at the top. Watch the setup video for that step, but it should be pretty self-explanatory. Right, so we've just stored the door away. We're now gonna pull in the ends and wind it down. So our next step is coming around to the rear of the camper. We have the entrance door underneath. This does need to be moved before we try and slide it back. Unclip the button, drop the door down on its hinges, slide it out and bring it back and put it on the side of the camper. Simply slide back into here. We might as well grab our winding handle out while we're down the scene. Coming back to the rear, I'll just pop that there. For this bear, again, we simply lift it, slide it out of the bracket, pull that pole out. Do that on both sides of the bed. So now your poles go under the bed they come from. It saves for any confusion. So both poles under the mattress there. And they simply slide in that easily. We'll head round to the front now. Same process as the rear, except for we have four poles to take out. We lift out our front ones first, pop them under the mattress, and we leave the rear ones in until we're slid back in. Sliding it in evenly. Right. And we just go around now and check our canvases if we didn't fall anywhere. That were all undone there. Just before we do that final push in. Okay, now we slide it in the rest of the way. And we take out these two poles. And again, under the bed they came from. Out at the top, out at the bottom. And underneath the mattress. Right, we are ready to crank it down now. Okay, perfect. We come to the rear of the caravan. This part is relatively important. We line up that handle there. We know where that goes from the up uh, video. And we can start letting that down. Now, when we're taking it down, there's two stages made a lot easier with two people but we do not want to wind it the whole way down in one motion okay and I'll show you why so we're going to stop here and now what we want to do is work our way around the caravan just pushing the fabric back inside checking it's not snagged 
when we get it to here, we don't want it pinching the canvas, okay? Last check you also want to do is make sure you slide out to right back. So give it a jiggle. Out there. Shut the door. Lock it. Step away. And now we can go around and just manually pull the last parts of the roof down. We then go around and re-clip the roof on to all of the points. Um, so that's nice and straightforward. If it needs a little bit of adjustment, that's fine. It shouldn't do. These don't want to be super tight, but something like that's absolutely fine. So we just work our way around now. packed up so it's nice and straightforward obviously the last thing you'll do is lift your stabilizers we don't need to show you that again um, but good luck thanks for the hiring poppy on campify cheers <laughs>